Saybrook. How was your little walk along our shore? Oh, it was wonderful. And you're not turned to ice? I am, <laughs> but it was worth it. Ah, uh, good for you. Some tea to thaw you out? Oh, oh, tea would be perfect. A uh, treasure, I see. Oh, just a little shell. Oh, don't be too sure of that. Won't you change your mind and stay with us a day or two? I've got some gorgeous rooms upstairs. Oh, thank you. No, I'm just meeting someone here, and they'd better be on the next ferry. A and then I have to get back to the United States. Well, now, that's a rare find. Usually when they wash up on Inish Crag, they're ground to sand. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, it's lucky. You see, the pattern is in the shape of a shamrock. See? Yeah. It means you are lucky. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Well, perhaps your luck is about to change. Nah, brick ends are quicker, man. Yeah, it does wonders for those on there. Yo, why don't you let me do the honors? Looking good, Tonio. What's up, man? Back on your feet. Oh, you're nice. I'm man. You all right? Yeah. Tonio, good to see you back. Get in on what the prides and the arrows are doing here. Thought I could help out. So, so. you know, and I heard about the bad rap that you and Andy are getting. So, you know, I just want to let you know that if there's any way that I can help, I'll be willing to help Andy. Go ahead, but we don't need your help. We help ourselves. Hey, Max! Hey, I'm so glad you could make it. He refused. The guns from the police impound? Yes, so he obviously feels that Andy could be innocent. Does Andy know? I, I, I don't know. I don't... Oh, may I have the phone? Yes, go! Oh, go. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. I got Mr. Charming so happy. Well, he just, he just got some very, very good news. Oh, yeah. Well, that, Andrew. I got it, I got it. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> well, until he finds out that Andrew's cousin Maggie is coming to dinner. Oh, no, it's a double whammy. It's Andrew's cousin Maggie and... Cassie's cousin Blair. What, they don't get along? Um... <laughs> Another statement. <laughs> so what do we do? We put away all the sharp or breakable objects? Oh, no, no, that won't be necessary yet. Uh, Max is the last thing that's on Blair's mind these days. You always get what you want. No matter what you gotta do, beg, borrow, lie, cheat, steal. So go ahead, you like the horse so much, why don't you hop on and ride on out of here? What is your problem? You can't stand it that we actually had a good time today? You had to come out here and chase me so you could snipe at me? Oh, it's Tina. What about her? She told you that I know that you changed your will. Well, so you admit it. Admit? So what, Todd? We're not married anymore. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that you believe her, her stupid theory that... that I would seduce you to get pregnant. What would it be? Like a switch, and then in 50 years, my child could inherit all your money? I don't know. You tell me. anything bad somebody says about me hmm? especially Tina the two brain cells she has 
don't function on the same day, you know. After all this stuff that you pulled, you got to admit, you're liable to do anything. So maybe Tina's saying is right. Thank you so much, Todd. Thank you. You know, what, what was I even thinking? Going to lunch with you. As if we could actually be civil enough to choke down a meal. Well, so much for Cassie and Marty's theory that we belong together, huh? Yeah, what do they know? Well, you obviously can't stand the sight of me, so... Why don't you go, okay? I'll just spend a little time with this beautiful creature here till his owner comes to claim it. Okay. Don't let me get in your way. Can I help you? Yeah, you can. You can tell me what to do with this horse, all right? I ordered him about three months ago. I forgot they were shipping him in this week. No, I don't want him anymore. So what do I do? Hey, big guy, you hungry? Uh, pretty wild still, but the lady sure seems to have a way with him. No one else around here has been able to get near him. You've got some nerve, young lady, leaving me a message to meet you here on this godforsaken little island. That fairly right just about turn my stomach inside out. Well, I'm sure you've got a drug that'll take care of that, Aunt Kiki. I was perfectly comfortable across the bay at Lord Shillingsworth. I don't see why you couldn't. I wanted there. us to meet on neutral ground. There is nothing neutral about this land that time forgot, which might just be blown away with the next good gust of wind. Barkey? Yes, ma'am. Vodka martini, please. Lemon twist. I don't know what this is about, but it better be good. Do you know in all the time you've been my so-called guardian, you've never once kissed me or given me a hello hug? <laughs> oh, is that what you came all the way to Ireland for? A hello hug? Did you miss your Auntie Kiki, you poor baby? What is it you want, Marty? I don't want a blessed thing from you, except what's mine. And what is that supposed to mean? You've been draining the accounts. My accounts on Kiki. In fact, you've really screwed up my trust funds. Some of them are about gone. Marty. Uh, that will be all, please. Uh, check. Marty, you have to realize that the stock market has its ups and downs. Bull, you've drained the accounts. And it's going to stop. Right now. Uh, Marty. <laughs> Why don't you just get rid of this ridiculous act? <laughs> I mean, it just makes you look even more pathetic than you already are. What's the problem? What's wrong with a little help? We don't need your help. Like, we can take care of ourselves. And it doesn't help some outsider mixing in. Let me get something straight with you. First of all, I'm not an outsider. I live here. So if something around here is a problem, it's my problem too. Unless you forgot my sister was killed here. This place took it from her. It took it from me. Everything. So when I get to her make a commitment, I'm not going to give up on it, all right? And besides, I guess I owe you a little bit of something. You know, you're saving my life and all. You don't know me nothing. But if, uh, you think you can find the way of keeping me and Andy out of jail? Then more power to you. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. In fact, I've already got a little information. I found out that Ice was carrying a gun the night that he was shot. The only problem is that no one saw him with the gun when he was shot. Dylan! Hey, Dylan, I've been looking for you. Hey! Good to see you back on your feet. When'd you get out? Forget about it, Gringa. You got no badge. Don't ask the question. No. Here, I'm an arm. Shoot me. You killed our brother. Hey, cold blood. Okay, oh, man, you guys gotta relax. Cold blood is Chico and I stabbed Antonio in the back. You know what I'm saying? She had every right to do what she did. Hey, she got no, 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 no. She killed her brother. Your brother stabbed Antonio. What's up? 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 What's up?
One Life to Live, brought to you by Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. Standing up for your little woman, even though she's a murderer. Shut up. He's not defending me, he's defending the truth. Ice had a gun in his hand when I shot him. Time in la carcel, eh? I want to talk to you. What? You gonna ask me out, Tarzan? No. It's about the night I got shot. It's important. on whether Andrew followed my directions yes, or not. Yes, I followed your instructions to the letter I did, but I better uh, check. And I better go with him. Excuse us. Ah. Well, go ahead. Check him out. The uh, <clears throat> salmon's okay, but the blue cheese is Perino. I hate blue cheese. Andrew told me about your sister. Is she handling things okay? Well, the trial starts tomorrow. She's uh, she's a little stressed out and everything, but uh, uh, Andy's tough. At least she acts that way. I mean, she's always been very strong. That's something I've always admired about her. Mm. Well, anyway, with Bo, Bo resigning. Uh, that's the that's the police commissioner. Anyway, with him resigning, maybe the DA is going to drop charges. Oh, I'm really sorry. I just quit smoking, and my mouth kind of takes off on its own. Hmm. Dinner's ready. Anybody hungry? I'm starving. So, when is the dragon lady coming? No, I mean it. My night will not be complete until I've seen Max in a really foul mood. Well, your night may not ever be complete because I'm not even sure that Blair's going to make it here at all. Says 
So, uh, you want to go back to the country club? Maybe, uh, I don't know, have a drink or something? No. I don't. Todd, look, no matter what you mean to do, you always find a way to hurt me. You don't trust me. And I can only get kicked in the gut so many times, you know? I, I just, I got, I got to play it safe for a while, anyway. You got to play it safe. Well, it's not that far-fetched. Time was when you wouldn't think twice about playing it safe. You, you'd hop on a wild horse like this bareback and just, just ride on out of here saying that you need to tame it or die trying. Yeah, yeah no maybe about it. That's why I bought it for you. I saw you here on the docks that night. So? So, I'm wondering if you saw an ice. What I want to know is if you saw an ice with a gun when you got shot. Yo, Linda. Let's step out of here. Hey, uh, good luck with your crew, Mother Teresa. Sorry, I can't hang with you, man. Got better things to do. Now? Let's face it, just a normal civilian woman is not too popular around here. Um, so let me ask you something. Tell me the truth, okay? I always tell the truth. That's what you hate about me, remember? Yeah. So what do you want to know? Am I going to jail? Could be. Really, Marty? <laughs> you dragged me out to this rock in the middle of nowhere to condemn my investment choices. Well, excuse me for trying to do right by your inheritance. But I'm far too busy to fall down on my knees and beg your forgiveness. Lord Chillingsworth and I are getting married. Did you know that? And this time it will work. No, oh, I'm sure. We're going to have a fabulous wedding. But it won't be complete unless you're there. Oh, as usual. <laughs> then you will come. No. And I really hope you found yourself another gold mine because my free ride is shut down, effective immediately. Excuse me. You may or may not recognize these papers depending on how high you were the last time you saw them. They are your power of attorney over some of my accounts. Now, because I was young and wild and perhaps high at the time, they've been your one long free lunch. Well, I, I really hope you've enjoyed the meal. Because your power of attorney is, um, revoked. As of noon local time, in fact. No. No, Marty. Please. I was only trying Skip to... Skip the eye only, all right? I just hope you've saved some money because you're cut off. Margaret, I'm your only family. <laughs> is that any way to treat me? You were supposed to take care of me. And look out for my best interests. It was a very difficult responsibility. I had to make decisions about what you needed. What I needed... What I needed was the love and affection that I lost when my parents drowned. All I got from you was a cold shoulder and another new boarding school. Not to mention the verbal abuse. Uh, you were a millstone from the moment the lawyers tied you around my neck. Well, by all means, declare your independence. Go on making your life a shambles as you always have. I'm confident you can screw things up without me, just as well as you did with me. You know something, Aunt Kiki? I have been afraid for so long that if I did something like this, you'd leave me. Now I'm leaving you. I was always so afraid that I'd never see you again. It's looking like a pretty good thing right now. Are you 
saying. Ciao! Which is what you used to say to me when you'd leave me. I never want to see you or hear from you again. Now, Marty, no, I you think you better get going because the weather's kicking up and you really wouldn't want to miss that last ferry. My God. My God. You're impossible! <laughs> Your auntie seemed a bit unhappy when she left. Yes, she did. Mr. Keneally. I... I need to send a telegram to Landview, Pennsylvania, in the United States, to a Mr. Todd Manning. Arabian birthday present I ordered about a million years ago. Before the annulment. And everything hit the fan and I just I forgot. I I never thought this. You be good to him. Treat him good. Me, what do I want with a horse? No, he, he should be with somebody who knows how to take care of him. Well promise me, Todd, whoever. You sell him to make sure that he treats him right, all right? Look, um, why don't you just keep him? Huh? I mean, we both know that you're going to treat him right. fiction is not just about special effects. It helps you fantasize about possible futures. What do you think, Cassie? We talked about what? Let's see. Art, politics, food, music, 100% disagreement. I think you should quit while you're ahead. Talk, talk. We haven't talked yet. You have lectured. <laughs> I'm not the one who thinks his opinion is the only one acceptable. Okay, I got a great idea, all right? A great idea. Let's all play charades. Oh, great. Okay, I gotta go home. I got things to do. Oh. What's the matter? Don't you play well? Of course, I... anybody can play charade. <laughs> well, then why the quick fade? I'm not. I just happen to have a desk stacked with paper. All right, fine. I would like to play charade. <laughs> well, good, because it takes four people, and nobody plays charades like Andrew. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You two are not a team. Sorry, you've got all these childhood secret signals. No, okay. Maggie, Max, and Kathy. Okay, fine. It's okay. No problem, right? No problem. No problem. Uh, it's your right. turn. Come on. Uh, first, uh, first uh, thing. Uh... Oh. <laughs> all right. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. Right. Okay, here we go. Um. Play. Yes. No. no. What is it? It's uh. Oh. It's it's a movie. Yes, a movie. What'd you give him? Uh, Star Wars, Star Wars. It's a cinch. You maybe it'll, you know, be a little bit easier on each other. <laughs> Two words. First word is up. It's it's ceiling. It's 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 light. Light. No, it's 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 molten. Sky, sky. No, that's that's obviously not it. It's okay. Give no. Give me give me uh, syllables. Syllables. Break it down into syllables. I know. First word. How many syllables? Hey, I, I thought you said you were good at this. Just say, mission accomplished. Thanks. But does that go into the telegram to Mr. Manning, the thanks? Oh, yes. And thanks to you too, Mr. Keneally. Oh, you're more than welcome, Miss Seabrook. Uh, they're running the last boat. The wind is roiling up the waters. Now, if you want to get off Ennis Craig tonight, I don't. I... I accept your offer for a room, Mr. Keneally. I think I'd like to stay a day or two. Just unwind, if that's okay. Ah, uh, that's a grand decision. I'll make sure your bag gets up to your room. Thank you. Gosh, it's just so beautiful here. Makes you feel... I don't know. 
free. It's been a long time since I felt that way. I'm sure you'll enjoy room three. I'm sure I will. Uh, you know, Inish Craig is enchanted. Some say. And there is a full moon tonight. What does that mean? There's like werewolves here or something? <laughs> no, I hope not. No. The legend is that when a newcomer is kissed beneath the full moon on this island, then that person becomes yours forever, some say. Mm. So, be careful who you kiss tonight. <laughs> I will. Oh. Oh, the piano. May anyone play? By all means, be my guest. Sir, the um, manager gave me these papers for you. Thanks. Uh, gotta close up. Look, why don't you just go ahead, all right? We'll make sure everything's taken care of. Look, the lady who you just said was so good with the horse, she just found out that he was a birthday present and she needs a little bit of time to get to know him. Okay? Hold on to this. Shirt? No problem. Why? Why'd you tell him it was my horse? Stop arguing, okay? All right, look, I'll stay out of it. There's no strings attached. And this horse was intended for you, all right? There's a lot of evidence they've got on you. Might be enough to convict. I'll die in prison. No, you won't. You'll survive. Hey. You're the only person that ever talks straight to me. Everybody else just tells me things to make me feel better. Look, um, where's your boyfriend? Kevin? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, why isn't he here to, uh, back you up? He's, um, he's in England. I, uh, I got a letter that he sent just, um, uh, before I got busted. He's, um, he's a real gentleman, Kevin, you know. Never says anything that might be, you know, unkind. But? I got the point. He, um, he said that he was thinking, you know, that uh, we are a bad start. He's kind of feeling like, you know, we should have just stayed friends, you know, instead of... Look, I got it. Mr. Rich cut you loose. So that's what you need right now. Look, you've been real strong through this whole thing. Now's not the time to give up. Like somebody might just come and, and, and give up give up the truth. Here. Esperanza. It means hope. It might just rub off on you. Come on. I mean, 
You know, the good thing about them taking your badge is that you can tag a wall. And you don't have to go to your CO with a written report. <laughs> Finally. I got nothing to tell you. Why are you gonna follow me? Because I think you know something and I think you're not being straight with me. Look, Linda, all I want to know is, did you see Ice carrying a gun when he was shot? Come on, Linda, you can tell me or tell your priest. How you just let an innocent woman go ahead and go to jail on this crooked cops out there doing dirt work and getting away with it. Oh, oh get me out of here. Get me someplace nice. What time's the last ferry? Quarter of an hour ago. Well, the last boat? The bad weather is on us. Afraid you missed your chance. Uh, what about a private boat? The rough waters like these? Oh, sorry, sir. There's no way off this island until the morning. Oh, God. Have you seen two men? One bald and the other unshaven with dark hair? What happens? Another paddies? Yeah, thanks. like this. Can't spook him. He's very, very skittish. Okay. I, I get the picture. Why did... Why did you buy this for me? It's no big thing. One time you started to tell me a story about this fantasy that you had when you were a little girl. About this horse that you could just magically ride away from all your troubles on. Huh? Besides, you do have the same attitudes. Me and the horse? You're reckless. Nobody's gonna tell you where to go. And that's why... That's why when you said that, that you weren't gonna take any more chances, it, Claire, if, if you stopped taking chances, you wouldn't be you. You go into everything full speed. As fast as you can. Mm. I envy you. In fact, that's what Marty figured she and I had in common. We were both scared to death. 